Let's talk about the alternative form of the derivative. Now let's say we have some function f of x and let's define it to be equal to x cubed. Now we know what the first derivative of that function is. Using the power rule, the derivative of x cubed is going to be 3x squared. Now let's say if we plug in some point, let's say 4. This is going to be 3 times 4 squared, which is 3 times 16, that's 48. So this is the derivative of f of x as a function. And this number, when we evaluate the derivative at a point, we get the slope of the tangent line. Now, we can find the derivative of the function using limits. So f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. So this is the limit definition of the derivative. And using this formula, it will give us f prime of x is equal to 3x squared. Now, the alternative form of the definition of the derivative is this equation. f prime of a is equal to the limit as x approaches a of f of x minus f of a over x minus a. Now, this form of the derivative, it will give you a number as opposed to a function that depends on x. So using this, you can get the slope of the tangent line, which is 48 when x is 4. So make sure you understand the difference between these two formulas. So this formula will give you the derivative as a function, and this formula will evaluate that derivative at some point where x equals a. Let's use both of these two formulas so you can see how it works. So let's start with this one. So f prime of x is going to be the limit as h approaches 0. And then we have f of x plus h. So in this formula, we're going to replace x with x plus h. So x cubed will become x plus h cubed. Now minus f of x, so f of x is simply x cubed, and then divided by h. So now how can we evaluate this limit? Notice that we have a difference of two cubes. When you see that, we could use this formula. a to the third minus b to the third is going to be a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So in that example, a is going to be x plus h, b will be x. So a minus b, that's going to be x plus h, that's a, and then minus b minus x. So that part is just the a minus b part. Now we need this part. So a squared, that's going to be x plus h squared, then a times b, so we're multiplying these two, that's going to be x times x plus h, or you can write it in reverse, it'll be the same, and then plus b squared. b is x, so b squared is x squared. And this is going to be divided by h. Now, of course, I need to rewrite this expression. So this is as the limit as h approaches 0. Now, x and negative x will cancel. So what we have left over is the limit as h approaches 0. We have an h left over, so it's h, and then times x plus h squared plus x times x plus h times x squared. We don't need to FOIL or distribute what we have here. I'm just going to leave it that way. Now notice that we can cancel h. As soon as the h from the bottom is gone, we can now use direct substitution. 
So I'm going to replace the remaining h with, with 0. So this is going to be x plus 0 squared plus x times x plus 0 plus x squared. x plus 0 squared is just x squared. And then x times x, that's x squared is again. If you add x squared three times, you're going to get 3x squared. And so we could see that these two answers, they match. So this formula gives you the derivative as a function. Now let's use the second one. So let's calculate f prime of a. So a is going to be the number inside of f prime, which is 4. So we're looking for f prime of 4. This is going to be the limit as x approaches 4 of f of x. f of x is x cubed minus f of a. So f of a is the same as f of 4. So we're plugging 4 into that function. So f of 4 is going to be 4 to the third power. And then over x minus a or x minus 4. Now once again, we're going to use the difference of perfect cubes formula. So we're going to factor as a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So a is x, b is 4. This is going to be the limit as x approaches 4. And then x minus 4 times a squared, that's going to be x squared. And then a times b, that's 4 times x plus b squared. b is going to be 4 squared. And then over x minus 4. Now, notice that we could cancel x minus 4. Now, once we do that, we're left with this expression. Now, once we get rid of the x minus 4 on the bottom, we can now use direct substitution. So replacing x with 4, we're going to have 4 squared plus 4 times 4 plus 4 squared. 4 squared or 4 times 4, that's going to be 16. When you add 16 3 times, it's the same as 16 times 3, which is 48. So as you could see, the alternate form of the derivative basically evaluates the derivative for us at some point where x is equal to a. So I want to make sure you understand the difference between the two formulas and how to use them. So that's basically it for this video.